So we're going to connect the HDMI receiver to a TV or projector. In this case, we've got a TV. Now we can plug that directly in via HDMI, but many TVs struggle to reach. So we're going to use this HDMI extension cable to plug into a HDMI port on the back of the TV. We also need a micro USB cable to provide power. So these are the two cables we need for the standard. Most TVs supply power via a USB port. Some of them don't, which is why we also include a country specific adapter or country independent adapter with different adapters that plug on to enable you to power up the HDMI receiver independently of the TV. In this case, this TV does have a USB port. Probably worth mentioning too, that if you have a, a room set up where you have a HDMI cable coming out, we supply a female to female HDMI adapter so that you can plug in your existing HDMI cable. Or if you don't have HDMI, we also include a HDMI to VGA adapter so that you can plug in your older style TVs and monitors via VGA. In this case, I'm going to come around here. So we're going to plug in via the HDMI port and we're going to connect to the USB power supply. We're then going to turn our TV on. You'll notice that a little blue light comes on on the HDMI receiver. Probably worth pointing out at this point too that if you use VGA, you won't have audio. Once you've selected the right HDMI port, you should see the HDMI receiver connect. It takes about 20 seconds to power up, and when it is, it will show you ready to connect. It's just about there now.